Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to my channel. One of the things I really enjoy about exploring different AI tools is that in the process of exploring these tools, not only I learn about new stuff, but also more about the stuff which I knew very little about before using that tool. When I was exploring this LLM mate tool, I came to know about couple of things which I had a very vague idea but now I know more about them and in this video I am going to share it with you and we will be using this tool which is called as LLM mate which is an app to estimate the size of your large language models locally and you can tell by running this tool that what sort of model would be compatible with your hardware. We will be using our Ubuntu system to get this thing installed and as I was referring to the new things in the course of using and learning about this tool, I came to know about this website codeberg.org. I was not aware of this website. It is an alternative of GitHub or Bitbucket and that sort of thing. Codeberg is a democratic community driven non-profit software development platform which is operated by a German non-profit or Goldberg EV and it is a Forge Geo based software Forge. You can develop your own free software project here. You can contribute to other projects. You can browse through inspiring and useful free software. You can share your knowledge or build your own project at home on the web using Goldberg pages. And this person, Mr. Hawk, he or she has created this LLM mate tool on this Goldberg. So really good stuff. Now we have alternative of GitHub, which is always, it's always good to have a different alternative. So coming back to this tool, this tool is a CLI app, which is written in crystal language. And this is what I was referring to. I knew very little about crystal before uh, using this tool and it looks quite good. Anyway, I will come to crystal in a bit, but this CLI app, which is LLM8 is Written in Crystal, it is used to calculate which size of a model would run the best on your system. It is not a perfect exact size, but it is an estimation and quite a good one. So you can use it on Linux and Mac or BST Linux, but not on Windows at the moment. We will be installing it locally and then we will see how it works. So what is Crystal programming language? This seems like a very interesting programming language. It is a modern object oriented language which was created around 13 years ago in 2011. The language combines the efficiency of C++ with the simplicity of and elegance of a Ruby language. It's a statically typed language which means that the data type of a variable is known at compile time rather than at runtime. And this feature really helps catching errors early in the development process making it easier to write reliable and bug-free code. It is also a compiled language, which means that the code is converted to a machine code before execution, which makes it really fast and efficient. It supports concurrency, which is quite good, and its concurrency model is based on fibers, which is another lightweight, lightweight thread that can be easily created and managed. If you are using Crystal in your production environment, please share it in the comments what exactly is a use case and why did you select crystal for your use case very keen to know about it so so we know uh, now know about crystal language we know about mr uh, this codeberg.org so really thanks to this creator for creating this tool now let's try to get it installed so i'm using this ubuntu vm and you don't really need a gpu or anything for this because we are just looking to see the estimation but the vm and gpu is sponsored by mass compute if you're looking to rent a gpu or vm on very very affordable prices i will drop the link to their website in video description plus i'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50 percent discount on range of gpus so this is my ubuntu system first we need to make sure that crystal is installed so for that just do crystal dash dash version it's not installed so let me install it the command is very simple we download it through curl and then we run this bash script to get it installed so let's wait for it shouldn't take too long it is downloading and then it is installing it and almost there i believe 
and the crystal is installed it seems let's check out the version there you go so we are running the latest 1.14 version of crystal here next up let's git clone the repo and cd into it and just like git you can see that it has done it next up let me first clear it and then we can compile the source code with the crystal from the root of the repo and that was fairly quick and now we can run this llmmate command with this simply dot slash and once you run it you see that it is given us this banner and then it is testing and checking our system so it is uh, doing it on the basis of our cpu available ram total bandwidth and it says that i can run a 3 billion model in 4-bit quantization on my system and this is the bandwidth available now i think it would be really good if it could take gpu in consideration because i you can see you know that i already have a um, very powerful gpu let me quickly show you so this is a gpu which i have nvidia rtx a6000 which can run really good you know big models 8 billion even 20 billion one and the quads go even up to q8 i don't think so this takes that into consideration so but if you just want to run it on cpu that it what that's what it tells you in estimation now um, not only you can do that but you can also run it in debug mode which gives you a lot of other options let me show you let's wait for it to come back takes a bit of a time by the way which is interesting let's wait for it to come back and see what it does there you go so it, it has given us a lot of information around it so if you look at it what it is doing it is evaluating different models in you know uh, floating point 16 precision int 8 int 4 and 4 bit and all that stuff different parameters and then it is giving us our recommendation that given the token generation and all that stuff and memory size prompt size target speed this is a, a model now for example you say okay you want to give it the prompt size so basically it is the prompt size in characters default is 500 i say okay tell me if i want to give just 100 characters in my prompt which model would suit on the basis of my system specs so let's see what it says so it doesn't store anything anywhere it just uh, does everything on the fly again so there you go the same thing next i'm asking it okay if my target speed is 20 per um, you know 20 tokens per second tell me what what should i use on the basis of my specs and by default i guess it is 10 tokens per second so let's wait for it and there you go every time it is giving me the 3 billion one maybe my cpu is not that good enough but it does say that this is a bandwidth which is varying i think it runs a different test uh, new test every time anyway so pretty interesting i would say uh, the idea is that I really think that we need more and more such tools which are open source to give us an idea of what sort of model can I run on my system but would be really practical if it also takes the GPU into the consideration because this is one of the questions which is asked by a lot of people that I have 4 GPU VRAM or I have this card what should I run so tools should go in do all the calculations and produce an estimation I understand it will still be an estimation because there are a lot of other factors involved but still not a bad effort at all i will drop the link to it in video's description play around with it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching